Now, we save the best for last for you, and that is people management. People management is at the core of services because, again, you want to make sure that your team has what they need, but also that they're not being overscheduled. And so as a leader, you want to help prevent that kind of overload and burnout. So one of the ways that you can do that is through what we call blockout requests. So blockouts gives your team members the ability to block out a specific date. Maybe they have an anniversary. Maybe they're out of town. Maybe they're sick. They can go ahead and block out a date. That way, you know in advance before scheduling them, oh, they're going to be out of town or they're unavailable for this week. Now, as a volunteer, they can manage that from the My Schedule page under Blockouts. They can do this on the web or mobile. But sometimes as a leader, you need to kind of prompt them and let them know, hey, it's okay to set up a blockout date for this month. And this is how you can do that as a leader. You can go do it for your entire organization that is all the people that are in services by going to people, uh, hitting the email option, and changing this to block out email. Or what I recommend is doing it on a team by team basis. That way, each team member has that personal connection with their specific team leader. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the choir. And then we have this email icon right here on the top corner. We're going to select that. And we're going to change this welcome email to a blockout request. And what I recommend doing is adjusting the content here. We give you that ability to adjust the body of the email. Maybe you're getting ready to schedule for April, May, June, July and say, hey, team, I'm getting ready to send out a scheduling request for April, May and June. But before I do that, if you want to enter in any blockout dates, uh, that way we can respect any days you might have off. Go ahead and do that. And you can send that and it's going to include a couple of links. One. Maybe they don't have blockouts. Maybe they already took care of that. And two, they can be re redirected back to the My Schedule page where they can set those blockouts. And you can send that out to your team right from that team menu. So that's a very powerful feature is blockout request emails. The next portion, which I encourage each team leader to do, also worship leader, um, as far as the songs that they do, is our service type reports. Now, a service type report gives you kind of a nice bird's eye view of how often somebody is scheduled and what their statuses are. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our contemporary service, hit the settings here, and select reports. Now, from here, we can see a ton of things. We can choose, hey, what, do, what date range do I want to see these things? Where do I want to see this criteria? I can choose it based on team. So in this case, I want to see across the board and see, you know what? Let's look since the past three months and see everybody's kind of scheduling request. Well, I can see Bob Vance has declined a lot. He's probably got another venture he's working on. I don't know. Maybe something with refrigeration. But I want to ensure we're not burning out Bob Vance. We see that he's a new volunteer, and so we want to honor that. And so maybe we need to um, talk to Bob about setting up his scheduling preferences. Uh, that way we can honor that role. So this page lets you see across the board how often somebody is actually being scheduled. Uh, for example, we have uh, Kadeem here who has declined for one and has been scheduled for two but hasn't been scheduled since. So maybe we need to go ahead and reach out to Kadeem and see uh, how often he would like to serve. And so these are some of those things and these reports that are at your disposal where you can adjust to see how often somebody serves and that way you can stay as best connected as you can as a leader. More importantly, not only can you do it from this role, maybe you're scheduling in advance. I'm going to go back to the matrix and show you one more way that you can do this. We're going to come right over here to the matrix, click that view. And in this case, I really want to see how often Caleb is scheduled. So I'm going to hover over Caleb's name and we have this option called target view. If I select it, I can see right across the board every time he has been scheduled and I can see, wow. Caleb's serving a lot. Maybe I need to reach out and see, is this okay? Or do you want us to kind of scale back a little bit? But that helps me to see from that view, from when I'm scheduling, how often they're serving. And so this not only works for people, it works for items, songs that you're doing in so many different areas. So target view, very powerful feature for you in your team management. 